Evening everybody, we'll start at 7. So in the chat, can you please tell me that you can see my screen? How's it Jason? How are you doing bud? How's it Bianca? Sweet. Please type in the chat where you're from. Let's see where everybody's coming from. Hey, Willem. Durban, Edinburgh, wow. Cape Town. How's it, Doug? Thanks, Harry. Nice now, down the road from me, I'm in Plet. Give me a call, we'll go for coffee. As a guy from Santon, all my clients, it's so nice to see you and have you here. Crofronet, how's it, Howard? Italy, wow, hello, Aldo. How are you doing, Putti? Lucky that you're here. Welcome everybody, very excited to have you here, very excited that I can uh, train you. Um, I'm sure you're going to love this, uh, this seminar, I'm going to teach you something very, very unique. Some of you already know it, I've got lots of clients on this group that uh, already trade with me and this will just be a, another refresher course for you guys. So this is what you're going to learn tonight, you're going to learn to trade like a hedge fund manager. And you're going to learn how to trade with confidence, how to read a forex chart like a pro trader, how to never have losing trades, how to make 200 pips profit per trade. I know it sounds absurd, but I'm telling you, you can do it. If people have seen me do it, and if you are achieving it, you can type in the chat box now. And uh, let's see what uh, you guys have to say. Uh, chat, let me open my chat box. There we go. Cool. And you're going to also learn the secret to why you keep losing money. So who am I and why should you listen to me? So my name's Alan Solosh. I'm a master trader with FBS.com. I've got eight years trading experience. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I am a full-time Forex trader and I've mentored over 100,000 people that are having great success. So there's expectations tonight from you and I uh, just want to go through that. So as I said, I'm going to give you a jam-packed value add tonight on things that you probably have never heard of before. So have an open mind, and I'm sure that you're going to learn a ton. And then after this, I'm going to offer you my mentorship program so that you can carry on with your learnership with me. And uh, I'm, I'm sure that you're going to love what I'm going to offer you. So get a notebook and a pen, and let's get started. So the problem with most of us is that we're not trading, we're gambling, and I can speak from personal experience because I have lost millions. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I have. I've lost millions due to me gambling and not trading. And then I learned a very simple technique, which I'm going to share with you this evening. So Warren Buffett says that risk is for those that don't understand. If you know how to read a chart, I ask you, is there risk? I say the risk is mitigated and you have a better chance of having success. So most people are trained with the following methodology. 
The training is as follows. You set your stop loss at 30 pips and you set your take profit at 15 pips. So your risk to, re to reward ratio is 2 to 1 against you. So if you have a losing trade, you have to have two winning trades just to break even. And that's why this strategy does not work. Professional traders don't trade like this. Professional traders are referred to as institutional traders, hedge fund managers, banks, etc. They use a strategy called hedge trading. So the benefits of hedge trading is, is that you can gain the full length of a trend, which I get between 200 to 400 pips. Um, you get to increase your profits. And that is because you don't have a take profit line. We don't use take profit lines and we don't have losing trades because we don't have we don't use stop losses. So I had somebody on my group say to me that he couldn't believe that I don't use take profits and stop losses, especially stop losses. And that's uh, because all of you have been trained by whoever to have these stop losses in place. And I think that is the wrong way to trade. Just for your reference, banks do not use stop losses. If they have a stop loss and the trade gets, you get the, the bank loses $20 million, that is going to move the currency and that is against the law. By law, banks have to hedge trade. So it's in our best interest to learn the strategy, learn what the banks are doing because they are the ones that control the market. So I'm going to teach you how to be, how to predict the market, market and a setting that is dependable. And that way, if you learn this, it will create confidence and you can take, well, I, I can't say bigger risks, but you can use bigger lot sizes and still be trading in a safe environment. The strategy that I use has an 85% success rate on entries and exits. So expect to have a good success rate with the strategies that I'm going to teach you tonight. So you got uh, an email from me with the, the entire week that has told you to go and do the pre-seminar training. I presume you've done that. So I'm not going to go through the chart setup um, right now. You've got that link. Please go and do it. If you haven't done it, it's a pity because you will have a tough time. Uh, tonight following what I'll be teaching you and we'll be also trading live after this uh, after the seminar. So I, te I teach a, a, a proven strategy, a 400 year old proven strategy created and developed by the Japanese rice traders who are the most successful traders of all time. Most of you are using Western technology which is Fibonacci levels, you're using double tops, triple bottoms, head and shoulders, you're using pennants and flags and wedges and falling wedges and rising wedges. Those strategies are 30 years old and they are lagging indicators. They are not predictive indicators. My strategy that I'm going to teach you, candlesticks together with moving averages, is a predictive strategy. So you'll be able to predict the move before everybody else. And that is what makes you a successful trader and what's going to separate you from being a failure and move you into more, uh, have more successes. So it's not just any moving averages that we use, we use the bank's moving averages. So I was taught eight years ago by an institutional trader at a bank what the bank moving averages are, how they use them and what they used for. So in my pre-seminar training, I gave you the settings and I hope that you set up your chart. I'm not going to go through it again. The game change of the moving averages was the eight exponential moving average. This moving average tells me it gives me the right time to open a trade and the right time to close a trade, which I'm going to share with you when we trade live. So again, here are the moving averages. If you haven't got it, you can just take a screenshot and set up your phone accordingly. Um, I think it's better to trade on your phone. I prefer to trade on my phone because I can read the charts more easily. 
So here are the important points. Timing is everything, okay? If you get into the trade late or early, you could lose money, okay? Or you won't make as much money as you could have because you came in at the wrong time because you didn't know how to read the Forex chart. So what I do is, is I set my alarm to every four hour increments when the candle is going to open so that I can just open my phone or I get pinged five minutes before the time I open my phone I can see where the candle is on the chart and then I can uh, get ready to trade or not to trade okay and then the most important part is to keep a journal it is extremely important that you guys keep a journal that way you know why you opened a trade how you felt when you opened the trade and if you lose money you need to write down why you lose lost money so that you can track your success if if it's not um if you don't write it down and you don't measure it you can't control it you cannot improve on it so it's extremely important to have a journal keep a journal and write down all your trades so are you ready to learn let's get started so this is how I trade, okay? When the second candle opens above the 8 exponential moving average, which is the red and white dotted line over here, I place a trade. But I don't place a trade, okay, if the second candle has opened above the trade, okay? Uh, I mean, uh, at the top of a trend. You need to actually look at the chart you need to turn the phone sideways let me just connect my phone here okay so there you 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 get pinged you're new to trading and you see that the second candle has opened above the 8 ema uh, let's go like that so that you can't see what's happening in the future okay so you enter a trade over here the second candle opens above the 8 exponential moving average you the, the the strategy is to open along but you can't just open along at any time you need to know what's happened previously to see so would you agree that that you've already missed the move the correct time to have gotten into this trade let's open my other program would be here over there that would be the correct time to get into the trade there we go. It's actually, it's actually this one, that candle over there. Okay, that's the second candle that opens above the 8 exponential moving average. Now, some of you may disagree with me because you think that this candle is below the 8 exponential moving average. You think that this, that this candle is candle 1 and this candle is candle 2. That is not correct. Okay, so if you actually zoom in, let's go back here. If you zoom in, it's an optical illusion. How do we know that, that it's an optical illusion? I'll show you. You need to look at, let me just move this. You need to look at the previous candle, okay, and see where the previous candle has closed. So here you can see, this is the previous candle there. And you can see that it's closed above the 8 exponential moving average. Therefore, this candle has opened above the 8 exponential moving average. Do you see that? Please answer so that we're on the same page. If you do not know what I'm talking about, please put up your hand and I can redo this again so that you've got me. Yes, I did. Okay. How are you? Fine, thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, what's your question? I uh, didn't see it. I didn't see that clearly. Could you repeat that part where you say it is uh, opened above the the eight? Okay. Can you see here? The, here is the eight exponential moving average. It's the red and white line. This red and white line here. Can you see that? Yes, I'm. Okay. Yes, so I'm the candle that. has opened here. And it is closed here above the 8 exponential moving average. Do you see that? Right, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, Therefore, yes, yes. this long candle here has opened above the 8 exponential moving average. This is candle 1. This is candle 1. This is candle 2. Oh, that's the first one. Correct. The so second you, one is there. Oh, correct. So you would open your trade there. As this candle closes, 
you would open your long. All right. Are you clear? I'm very clear. Okay, Thank you me. can mute your microphone. Um, so that is how you know, okay, it's an optical illusion and you need to look very carefully where the last candle opened so that you can see whether you are opening your trade correctly and on the second candle. I know there's a doji there for some of you, so we'll discuss that just now. Okay, so the first rule to open a trade is to open when the first candle is above the 8 exponential moving average. When we go back to the chart, you don't look, you don't open your trade over there right at the top of the move. You've missed the move. You need to open at the correct time. Don't force the trade. If you've missed the trade, you've missed the trade. Wait for another opportunity. Okay, maybe check another pair and uh, you can con and you can get in at the right time. Don't just trade for the sake of trading because the second candle has opened above the eight exponential moving average. You need to know where your support and resistance lines are. No point opening a trade when you're on a resistance line. So what's the difference between a support and a resistance line? So here's how I look at it when you stand on the floor the floor is supporting you that is a support level if i touch the ceiling and i can't go through the ceiling that is a resistance level so here's a quick a little trick for you guys on how to work out your support and resistance levels very very easily let me share it with you so firstly what you do is is that in the bottom of mt4 on your phone, there is the settings icon, the gear icon. You click on the gear icon, and then you look for where it says charts, and you click on charts. Where it says line charts, you click on line charts. And then you hit the back arrow twice or once, and then you click on charts again to go and see exactly what's happening on your chart. And there you can see we're right at the top of a trend. So if we zoom out, you can see here's the, here are the two tops. There was a, the price reached this level once, and then it reached this level again. Would it be a good idea? Let me remove all my lines. Get rid of that. Let's draw a line. Do you guys know how to draw lines? You tap on the screen. You tap on the square circle and the triangle. If it's not in the add object section, you can just click on add object. There's an arrow there. And then you click on the horizontal line to be able to draw your horizontal line. I don't want to do basics of trading here, guys. My job is to give you uh, a more experienced kind of way of trading. The basics, you can go to YouTube and you can go and find that information on YouTube. There's lots of videos on how MetaTrader 4 works, so I don't want to do the basics with you guys, alrighty? So here you can check, there, that is a resistance level. So if the second candle opens, so let's go back there and let's go back to, let's go change this back to candlesticks and then we can go back and see if we're on a support and resistance level, okay? Uh, where was it? was over there, right? Okay, so there it is. That's where we said we were going to be. And there is your resistance line. A little bit higher up. So you're almost on a resistance line. It's $20, okay? Not a great trade if you're right by the resistance level and you're right at the top. I mean, it's like on this, we, this is gold that we're looking at. Very seldom does gold go above $2,000. So $2,000, anything 50, double zero, those are support resistance levels. If you get, if you get to it like a 1,900, 2,000, 2,100, 2,050, those are support resistance levels. You can expect a retrace. The, the currency or the commodity usually goes in the opposite direction. Are you clear on what I've told you so far, guys? Can I continue? So it's very important that you enter 
at the correct time going long. Okay, when do you close your long? So now that you know when to open your long, when do you close your long and when do you go short? This is where most people go, go wrong. So first, firstly, let's find a good entry. Um, there we go. So here, let's have a look. One candle, here is the second candle over there, okay? Can I annotate? Right. Here is the second candle that's opened above the eight exponential moving average. This red one over here. All right. So let us draw a trend line to see what the move is. That move is 417 pips. That move. We would have gotten out. So when do we get out? When do we get out? We get out when the sec either when we see a doji, which I'm going to discuss with you, or when the second candle opens below the eight exponential moving average. So unfortunately, with this one, we may have lost money on this trade. So it was a bad example. We would have broken even. There, we would have broken even. Would have made a little bit of money. Would have made 21 pips on that one. So let's try and find another example. As I say, it's not 100% accurate. It's 85% accurate, the strategy. Okay? 85% accurate. So let me erase. And let's try again. All right. So here's a nice one. Here is the first candle that opens above the ATMA. This is the second candle that opens above the 8 exponential moving average. Right there. This candle here. Okay? Where the second candle opens above the 8 exponential moving average. So let's take a measurement. And there's the doji we wouldn't got we would have gotten out. It's 387 pips. So like most of you are trained to set your to set your take profit at 15 pips. So where's 15 pips? 15 pips is like yeah. Okay? You would have missed that entire move. Why? Because you don't know how to read a forex chart. If you knew how to read a forex chart and you were using my strategy, what's better? 15 pips or 300 pips? So you guys would have gotten out at 15 pips and then what? So it's very important that you learn the strategy. It's an amazing strategy. Can you see how easy the strategy is? It's very simple. 300 is better. Let's do another example. Do you guys want me to do another example? Second candle open where the red candle is. And we would have gotten out on that candle over there because the second candle is below the 8 exponential moving average. It's a 323 pip move. So how do I know that? How do I know that it's a 320 uh, pip move? So let me show you. Over here, you can see there, it's, this is your points, 3,361 points if you put a decimal by the by the one you can read there it's 336 pips 336 pips on a 0 0.01 lot size okay it's 33 dollars on a cent account on a micro it's 336 dollars on a 0 0.01 lot size that is massive Okay, a risk to, reward, re, risk to reward ratio. Do you agree with me? So when do you get out of the trade is what we're asking. We get out of the trade when we see the second candle open below the 8 exponential moving average. So when you see the can, when you're in an uptrend and you see the second candle open below the 8 exponential moving average, if you are in profit, close your trade. If you are not in profit, hedge. So in other words, you leave your long open and you place a, a short. Now you have two trades open. You have a long and you have a short trade open. Nothing is going to happen to your drawdown, which is unbelievable. Daslin, I'll take your question now. Nothing is going to happen with your drawdown. Your account is locked. One trade will go blue. One trade will go red. 
and then when your when your one trade is blue let's say you you got the no, the long wrong and now you in a short and you get the short goes goes down the price goes down that trade is in profit when the second candle opens above the eight exponential moving average if that long is still blue you close the, the sorry if the short is still blue you close your short and you can either open up a new long or you can just ride it north until your drawdown on that long that you had that is red goes um, gets less and less. I would place another uh, long trade. That is called dollar cost averaging. It's the same way that a hedge fund manager or your financial advisor will teach you how to trade. Do you all understand what dollar cost averaging is? If you don't, ask now. Okay, so Dazlin, you can unmute yourself. Nicholas, I'll take your call, just uh, your, your question just now. Dazlin? Hi, hi, Alan. How are you? Uh, thanks for the phone. Good, thank you. Lovely. Uh, just a quick one. Um, uh, you mentioned basically... Uh, on a lot size of 0 0.01 uh, that if it's 336 pips it's um, it's so so many dollars on a cent account and a micro account correct uh, can you can you maybe just if you don't mind just slow that down a little bit just to explain to us how you calculated that on a cent and a micro account one yes. pip on a cent account is one cent okay one pip on a micro account, I think it's one dollar or it could be ten dollars. I think it's one dollar. Cool. Thanks. Okay. That's how I get to the math. Okay, so can you please explain what dollar cost averaging is? The financial advisor will advise you to just invest in a portfolio. You sign a debit order and they say every month we will debit your account and we will take that money that you've given to us and we will invest it in various different uh, shares or unit trusts. It does not matter what the price is, whether the price is up here or down here, we're going to buy stock for you and we're going to hold it because we know with a long term approach of 20 years, OK, that the price is going to go up. So a unit trust is usually made up of a bunch of companies that they've selected the best of the best, the cream of the crop. So if they've chosen the best of the best, some of those 80% or so, 60, 70, 80% of that little basket of, of, of companies that they've chosen, because they are corporations, they blue chip companies, and they're supplying products that everybody uses boring products uh coca-cola cadbury's uh, chips like uh, simba stuff like that you know there's a demand for that so over and with inflation the price of those products go up their turnover goes up and the share price will usually go up do you agree with me so it does not matter when you invest whether the price is up or the price is down they're looking at a more macro type of uh, scenario. They're not looking at a micro type scenario. They're looking at the longer, longer, long-term approach. They're not looking at it day to day, week to week, month to month. They're looking at it year to year. Okay. So we use the similar approach in Forex. When you know that the price, the candle has opened, the second candle has opened above the eight exponential moving average. So let's say you have a long position over here. Okay. And the price drops, the second candle opens below the eight exponential moving average. The, pr the price goes down. Uh, it's blue when the second candle opens above the eight exponential moving average again. So let's go over here. Here we go. The second candle opens above the eight exponential moving average. We close our short and you open a new long. OK, yeah, we would have. Um, we would have kept this. We would have kept that long. 
and that would have failed, we would have gotten out of, or we would have just hedged again. So now we would have hedged again, two shorts to the value of that, that long. And then you ride it north, you place a trade, second candle opens above the 80 exponential moving average, you go north, and you take the profit. Those two trades are still in a loss. Those two longs are still in a loss. You just leave them. You leave them until the price gets back there. If you've used correct wallet management and the correct lot size, okay, you can hold a trade for years. Yes, it's lost opportunity cost. I get that. But I don't believe in closing trades in a loss. I'd rather hold them. You can partially close the trade so you can use 50% of your profit that you've gained from your from your short positions you can close partially close out a um, a lot size so if you've got like a 10 lot size open and you can say you can use let's say 50% of the profit let's say it's two lots you can close the two lots out of the 10 lots and reduce your long okay from eight lots to 10 lots reducing your um your exposure. Do you understand that part? All this is explained on my training website, which you're going to have access to. I've got a lot of videos that are going to take you through the hedge trading strategy. Are you 100%? Are you 100%? Are you guys good? Can I continue? Okay, so now you know when to open a trade and when to close a trade. And there is, uh, let's go back to the, uh, the presentation. Okay, so I've discussed with you when you open the long, and I've discussed with you when you close the long and you open a short trade. Alrighty, so we all good there, right? So over here, you can see uh, here's a good example that I put there. There's the first trade, there's the sec. this is actually the, the, uh, the first trade over there, okay? That hangman right there that green candle would be the, the first the second candle below the eight exponential moving average and you'll ride it north all the way down to like probably it's it's even further it's not even on the screen it would have made massive profit okay but there is a a little candlestick that we call the doji that will tell us if we should get into the trade or if we should not get into the trade so whenever you see a doji on an uptrend, so let's say you are north, let's say you are north, you've taken a long position, when you see the doji, close your long. Generally, after a doji, the price reverses, and you would have lost out on those profits. So instead of losing out on those profits, bank your profits, don't open a short position on the doji rather wait until you've got confirmation so close your long and then wait until you've got confirmation that the price is actually going to reverse and as you can see about six candles later we've got the first candle that opens below the eight exponential moving every you can see that optical illusion there where the price closes on this long candle it closes below the eight this is the first candle below the 8 exponential moving. This is the second candle below the 8 exponential moving average. And you would enter short here and you would remain short until right down at the bottom here, wherever it ends. Another fantastic trading opportunity. Okay, so when you see a doji and you're on a long position, close out your doji. When you, sorry, close out your trade, your long trade and wait. When you see a doji at the bottom of a trend, you can ignore it. Why? Because things go, when you're on, on the up, the price goes up slowly. And then when it comes down, it comes down fast. It's like a gravity pull. So when we're going north, we're working against gravity. When we're going south, we're working with gravity and it falls fast. So rather, when you see the doji, so what is the doji exactly? It's an, it's an imbalance, okay, between the buyers and the sellers, the bears and the bulls. 
There's like, it's a tug of war. And there is no direction. So the price opens and closes basically at the same price. So there's no direction. And we now need to wait for the bank to make a move. And then we can decide what the direction is. Don't trade against the trend. The trend is your friend. Don't trade against the trend because the trend is controlled by the banks and the institutions. You will just get wiped out. Do you have any questions about the doji? Don't get confused between a doji and a spinning top. A doji is not a square. A spinning top is a square. This over here is a doji. This over here is a doji. And you can see there's the doji and then the price just fell. So we already knew three candles back that there was going to be a reversal. This is gold, guys. I mean, it's like a no-brainer. So yeah, we would have gotten into the trade over there. The doji would have formed because the second candle is above the 8 exponential moving average. Can you see that? Here's the first candle, massive gap up. Okay, there's a gap here between this candle and that candle. So we think, oh my gosh, there's going to be a big move. The bulls are in control now. So we open a trade. Then there is a doji that formed. We get in over here. And the doji forms, the candle closes. Get out of the trade, even at a little bit of a loss. Okay, break even if it's like a small little loss. Rather close it out, okay, because you're going to get caught. You're going to get trapped. And you can see that four candles later, it just went south. So I don't know if you find that interesting. I'm fascinated by it. Do you, are you guys enjoying what you, are, or what you are learning here? So there are the doji pictures. So you've got a dragonfly doji, you've got a long-legged doji, and you've got a gravestone doji. Take a picture now, and remember this, uh, um, this candlestick reversal pattern. Okay? Cool. So let's show you what a um, spinning top is. This is a spinning top. It is a square. Do not get confused. It is not a doji. It is a spinning top. The doji is more of an oblong or a straight line. The smaller that, 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 that candle, the more significant it becomes as a reversal pattern. Okay? Are we clear? Can I continue? Good to see some nice... Uh, um, some of my old clients back. How's it, Cole? How's it, Geraldine, Philem, Nicholas? Lacquer, man. Lacquer, lacquer, guys. Hope you're learning lots. Okay. So this is an 8 out of 10 strategy that when you see a doji, you can expect on an uptrend. When you see a doji at the top, you can expect the price to reverse soon. And rapidly. So rather close out your trades and get out of the trend. Cool. There are 15 candlestick reversal patterns. Now some of you are saying, oh my god, I have to learn 15 candlestick reversal patterns. That's a lot. Well, just by the by, you went to school and there is the 12 times table. And that has 144 calculations and you learned it. And you now know how to do your 12 times table. This is only 15, 15 patterns to learn. And they're very, very simple. They're easy to understand. And they are very simple to identify. And I have a cheat sheet for you. And that cheat sheet, you can take a screenshot. Let me, um, let me move that. You can take a screenshot. Um, and you can go and learn and study and understand what these candlestick patterns are. And when you see them, you need to take action. Okay? So, hedge trading, what does it mean exactly? 
Hedge trading, when you take a long and a short basically at the same time, or you have a long and a short open at the same time. So your drawdown doesn't do anything. Whether the price goes up or the price goes down, if you've got a long and a short with exactly the same lot size, your drawdown remains the same. Now this strategy can only be, based, be used on a few brokers. A lot of the brokers do not allow you to hedge trade, especially in America. You cannot go long and short on the same currency. You would need to use what is called a correlating pair to trade um, and to be able to do this. Do you want a little trick? Can I teach you a trick on how to do this on another broker? On what the correlating pairs are? Do you want that? Let me escape here. Correlation matrix. This is so clever, guys. Okay. So, the correlation between Euro, US, Dollar. Okay. Yes, yeah, 74%. So, if you trade it, US Dollar CHF has a 74% correlation. Okay. Or USD JPY has a 78%. Or here, AUD USD is an 87%. NZD USD is a 90% correlation. So if you're long on the one, you can be short on the other. It's that is a hedge. Okay, it's a great tool. I'll put it, I'll post it into the uh, chat for you guys. Save that little URL. It's a great little trick for you. I'm sure you can uh, enjoy it and get value out of it. I don't use it because with our broker, we can do proper hedge trading, okay? The challenge with, with doing, if you are allowed to trade on other brokers, the challenge is your swap fee. That is a huge challenge for most people where if you hedged the swap fee, what is a swap fee? Do you guys know what a swap fee is or do you not know what a swap fee is? When were these opened? On the 21st. No swap fee. A swap fee is a fee, correct. Thank you, Ivan. It's a fee that you get charged for holding a trade overnight as a percentage of the trade. So the bigger the lot size, the bigger the swap fee. Okay. When you're trading with us and you're in our structure, you don't get charged a swap fee. We can have that fee removed for you. We can also give you no taxes, no commissions. Okay, so this is a friendly broker that we're using. You guys are paying swap fees. You're paying commissions. You're paying a high, um, a high spread. What's the spread? You know what the spread is. It's the difference between the ask and the bid price. It's the, the, the fee that the broker charges you when you take a trade, we've got low spreads. Okay, it's 0.8 of a pip. 2.8 pips for, for gold. It's very low. So it's very important that you use. So, Sean, that information was sent to you in the pre-seminar homework that you should have done. Um, if you go back and find that link, then you can, you can uh, sign up with that broker. Uh, let me pause and let me get that uh, that link for you guys. Go and do your pre, uh, pre-seminar pre preparation. It's in there, the right broker, where you use the correct broker so that you're able to do this. You can't do this with every broker. So let's go back to my account. Triple nine. Cool. All righty. Um, are you guys finding that you're getting good value here? You must tell me what you want to talk about so that I can help you. Please explain margin level percentage and margin, what to monitor for safe wallet management. Depends what leverage you're using. Uh, the higher your leverage, the more margin percentage you have. It's the amount of, of money that you have available in your account as a percentage. That's what it is. That's margin percentage uh, level. That's the amount of money that you have available. So there's a, there are good videos on YouTube that will explain that. It's, it varies. So what is safe? It varies 
according to each person's risk profile and risk appetite. What's good for you, what you feel is safe, may be high risk for someone else. So I think that anything below a thousand percent, you're starting to get into a little bit of trouble and you need to watch that very carefully. Okay. What is drawdown? Drawdown is the, is the amount of money that is in open trades relative to your capital. So let's say you have a thousand dollars capital that you're trading with. You have a hundred dollars in open trades that are in negative. It means that your drawdown is a hundred dollars as a percentage that is 10% of your account. So your drawdown is 10%. We've got questions, so let's go and see what the questions are. That is that dragonfly can appear on uptrend. So does it mean if we we saw that we can close the trade or we can monitor it? So I'm confused about that. So if you have a bullish doji, it means that you've got a doji on an uptrend. So let's go back yeah. to uh, the charts and let's try and find you a doji on an uptrend. There. Here is a doji on an uptrend. When I see a doji on an uptrend, I will close my long position. Okay. When I see a doji on a, on a bearish, bearish position, I ignore it. Yeah, that is exactly what I was about to ask. Okay, I ignore it. Any other questions? Yeah, okay, that, that, that's all. Thank okay, you, thank you very much. Move on to other things, okay? In the beginning, you need to focus on one thing. It took me months, okay? I sat up 24 hours a day. My wife thought I was going to have a stroke watching the charts i'd be up at like one o'clock in the morning watching the chart what's australia doing what's tokyo doing i'd nod off for like 10 minutes wake up and i'd do this for weeks and then on the weekend i would crash okay and i did this for months to learn this to understand this to try and like perfect the strategy and it was it, it was definitely worth it that i can assure you what is the best pairs okay do you hedge uh, then manually yes you hedge manually so you would place the trade in the opposite direction let's check does the strategy apply on all time frames a hundred percent it does it's difficult to trade on a one minute chart because it's very very fast one minute and five minutes very fast uh, on metatrader four um i would rather uh, trade as it it depends what you want to do okay if you're in a 15 minute chart and you want to be scalping you can be scalping the challenge is, is that then you are hostage to the chart the entire day. I don't want to be hostage to the chart the entire day. I would want to place a trade once a day, once every two days, hold the trade for a week, make 300 pips, close the trade in profit, and then only like, you know, that's why I set my alarm on my phone to every four hour intervals. So that I know when the candle opens, my phone's going to ping. That's when I trade. I don't want to have to be staring at my chart all day and get square eyes or oblong eyes. That's not what I want. There's more to life than trading. And if you do it correctly, you can have a life instead of being glued to the screen. I hope that that answers your question. Okay, that, that's what's exciting about my strategy is that you don't need to be in front of your computer all the time. It's amazing. Okay, you can trade on your terms, which is fantastic. Okay, so do you understand what hedge trading is now? Thank you, Peter. Do you understand what hedge trading is? Say yes, say no, say don't understand, put your hand up, let me help you. That's what this is about. This is about interactivity. Okay, this is not a spectator sport. You need to get involved. Understand clearly, shot. Dion. Dion's from Israel. Very excited to have you here, Buti. Cool. Okay, let's move on. Okay. So choosing the correct broker is extremely important. You cannot trade this with any type of broker. Okay, we've done the research for you. Just use our broker. 
They are the best broker to work with. Okay, they've got 21 million traders worldwide. They are the biggest broker in the world. I deal with the biggest and the best. I don't want to deal with a Mickey Mouse broker. I want to deal with a broker that is FSCA approved. They regulated in four countries. They regulated in Belize, Cyprus, South Africa, and Australia. Okay. There's a few countries where they're not regulated. Israel, they have very strict laws. The USA, it's like mollycoddled. It's like dealing with children. Canada's the same thing. Very difficult to deal with. Europe, also very difficult to deal with. They have a maximum leverage of 30 in Europe. You can't even make money with a, with a leverage of 30. Okay, You can open maximum like five trades and then you're like going to run into problems. It's like, it's, that's not trading, that's gambling. So you need to use the correct broker. Use the biggest, use the best. It's in the homework. I sent it to you. If you need me to paste it again, I'll paste it again. Have you got the link? Be very careful with brokers. This is very important. There are many scammers. There are many, many. Uh, and they love South Africa because we are desperate for money. I get it. I do. Okay. Avoid scams and hops, guys. So what is a hop? Do you know what a hop is? It stands for High Yield Investment Program. So this is where the gambling mentality and the gambling mindset comes into play here. I'll post the link now. Um, so you, you get sent a website. The latest one was QZ Investments, where they're promising you to have a return of... 5% a day, 10% a day, double your money in three days, make 3,000% in seven days. It's nonsense. Those are Ponzi's. They are ro rolling money. So they're taking money from new investors, from old investors, giving it to new investors. Or giving, taking money from the new investors to give to the old investors. It's, it's a... It's a Ponzi. They're rolling cash. You're going to get burnt. You're going to lose money. Forget about giving your money to other companies to trade for you. My job is to help you navigate this world of investment and, in, and scams. My job is to help you to become independent. Would you rather become dependent on other people or would you rather be independent and make your own decisions? Tell me, what would you like to do? I want to know. You guys need to be responsible for your money. That is the exciting part about being an adult, where you can be responsible for your own money. Stop giving your money to institutions, okay, and expect them to look after your money. The only one that can look after your money is you. No one cares about your money except you. If you're giving your money to a, an institution, somebody that is only interested in Commissions, affiliate commissions, run. It's called, you need to be dealing with a fiduciary. A fiduciary, if you want advice, okay, you need to ask the broker, do you make commission from, in, from the business I give you? Yes, run. You need to work with the fiduciary. A fiduciary is a person that is independent. What they do is, is they go and look at different companies, and they say, right, we've done the research, this company charges commission, this company's commission is X, this company's commission is Y, this is what they do, they will give you a broad overview of the different companies, and they will say, we believe that this is the best company to invest in for these reasons, we do not earn a commission with them, we are not affiliated with them. Okay, that's how you do investing with an institution. But again, they will not look after your money the way you will look after your money. Your job is to, you can ask your question, just post it. Your job is to become responsible. Learn this. The institutions are going to trick you. They're going to use big words. They do this so that they can create customers. They complicate it. Listen to me nicely, guys. Forex is simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. I've made it simple for you. I've done the route. I've gone this. I've gone the distance. Okay. 
Minimum investment is a dollar with the up broker. One dollar. But you won't make money on a dollar. You'll lose money. You need to put in a hundred dollars. Okay. You're asking the wrong question, Sean. You're asking what kind of profit can I make? Okay. You need to be able to have enough money in your account to be able to take a risk that you can then, if need be, hedge. Have enough money in your account to be able to hedge. Okay, and then trade like that. And when you do have $100, trade on a 0.01 lot size on a cent account and start hedging and start learning the strategy. And guys, trade on a live account. This is another trick. Okay, trade on a live account. Very, very important, which I'm going to get into in my next slides. Okay, right. Are you, do you feel that you're getting value tonight? I told you I was going to jam-pack this webinar with value. And every uh, seminar I do has different things. I didn't talk about this last, last seminar, okay? I did not talk about this. This was new. I try and add new stuff and uh, um, so that you can have value. You can use this on MetaTrader 5 with pleasure, no problem, okay? Sure. So you guys asked me for that link. Let me go and find that link again. Uh, for the training, pre-seminar training, right, here we go, there we go, please save it, there's the pre-seminar training, the link is there for the broker, okay, and you need to re register with this broker, very, very important, the link is on that website, okay, so you're getting good value, uh, flipping accounts is best on a live, I don't even know what you're talking about, Stefan, Unmute yourself and tell me what flipping accounts is. So, uh, Sean, you had a question. I think it was or somebody had a question. Just a question. What's the minimum? Okay, I answered you. Okay, one new message. Okay, um, taking out original investment from one hundred to two hundred dollar. Taking out, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I've done. I definitely, you need to take out your original, your capital. Okay, and work with the with the broker's money. Hundred percent. Yeah, I just posted it. There it is. Um, Nigel. Okay, cool. Let's continue. I'm happy that you guys are getting value. Let's continue. Right. So, who would like to stop watching charts all day? Do you think that watching charts is fun? Let me open up. Do you guys want to watch charts all day? So I don't want to watch your charts all day. I want to be on the beach. I live in Plet. I have a different uh, lifestyle to most people. I decided to uh, move away from uh, the city and uh, live a more relaxed life. Uh, what lot size do you recommend for $1,000? I don't. I will talk about that now. Um, but I want to share something. So I have a little tool. I created a little tool called the 8 Exponential Moving Average Indicator. It's so simple. And you can scan all the pairs. Okay. There's one moving average where we don't trade on. It's the 200 moving average. When the price gets to the 200 moving average, close your trades. On gold, we find that the banks are trading from moving average to moving average. So we find that when it gets to the moving average, it, uh, the price reverses. We, this is their new strategy that's been going on for the last three, four months. The banks change their strategy to trick us. And you just need to know when and what's happening. It, it's quite astounding to watch where the price hits a moving average and then it automatically reverses. Are we on a four hour chart here? So you can see here, it hits the, the, it hit the, the 32 moving average and then immediately reversed. The moving average is not catching up with the price. The bank is, re is reversing the price on the moving average. So when the price gets to the moving average, you must know, expect a reversal. So you can just get out of the trade. If it breaks through, you can get back into the trade. This is on gold. On other currencies, it's different. This is why you have to watch the chart very, very carefully. And you can see here, it's hugging the it's hugging. The, the 100 moving the, the, the 100 moving average it's the banks are trading from moving average to moving every and they change time frames to trick you sometimes I'll be trading on a 15 minute time frame sometimes I'll be trading on a uh, 100 uh, time frame so what is this 50 moving average 
Okay, there's another thing that I wanted to show you guys, which is the 50 moving average, which is the purple line. This line is very, very significant. When the price gets to the 50 moving average, watch out. Why is the 50 moving average so important? Okay, so there's the 50 moving average. Because if you change the time frame, it's at 1954. If you change the time frame to a one hour time frame, you will see that it is on the 200 moving average on the, um, on the H1. So there it is. There's my line. There is the 200 moving average. So it's very, very important that you go between the different time frames and understand, okay, what's happening and my indicator will help you with that so with this indicator we've got you the eight exponential moving average the 200 exponential moving average the 100 and the 50 red means it's in a sell position so the second candle is open below the eight exponential moving average on gold okay check this out if we click on it the chart changes to gold and we can see exactly what's happening we can see what's happening so the second candle's open below the eight exponential moving average. Let's trade. We're going to trade. We're going to go and sell. Boom. We've traded. We've opened a sell position. There it is. I'm trading. This is a live account. As you can see, real ink, real. I trade live with you guys. Okay. So it's already told me what's happening. It's told me. I'm trading on the H1. I don't normally trade on the H1. Let's see what's happening on the H4. We are south. So I'm trading with the, with the trend on a lower time frame. You can do this on a 15 minute time frame. Okay. You must always revert to the higher time frame. So if, you, if, you, if, if the price is going short on the H4 and you're trading on a 15 minute time frame, don't trade long. Because the, oh, the, the, the bird's eye view of the currency at that time is south. Why would you trade north? Even if you're on a 15-minute chart and the second candle is open above the 8 exponential moving average, when you know on a higher time frame that we are south. I normally trade on the H4, but just for demonstration purposes tonight, we're going to be trading on a lower time frame to help you. Okay? So let's go back to the H4. I'm going to change this chart back to an H4. We'll wait for everything to populate. And you can see here, we can see here, Euro CHF, short. Second candle is opened above the 8 exponential moving average. The, 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 this indicator is programmed like that. So you don't even have to go and watch charts anymore. You, I've made this so simple for you guys. Okay, where the indicator is going to tell you blue means it's long. So if you click on the blue and it will automatically go to AUDCHF, look where my mouse is, over there, I'll, I'll just move this away, okay, and there you can see, first candle, second candle, you can go long, but why would you go long on the H4 when we're so close to the 200 moving average? No point, no point, okay, find another currency, CAD, JPY, okay, we're at the top of the trend, no point. We've missed the move. No point. CH, uh, CHF JPY, second candles above the eight exponential moving average. We're right at the top of the trend. No point. Moving along. AUD CHF, second camp. Uh, we, we're too close. Too close to the 200 moving average. No point in trading. Do you see how quick we can scan charts now? Okay, by knowing this, by, by having this information that I've taught you this evening, <laughs> this should be exciting. Are you guys excited? Like, I get excited every time I do this. Okay, let's check it out. GBP CAD. Okay, let's, let, let me go here. GBP CAD. Yeah, we're at the bottom. You can see we're on a support level. If it, Don't worry about these arrows. The arrows are in my course. You'll learn about them. They're called Bill Williams Fractals. Phenomenal phenomenal indicator that is going to help you phenomenal you're going to love that okay i assure you who's trading who's who's using bull williams fractals who's using my strategy my bull williams um fractal strategy put your hands up 
Put your hands up. I know you're there. Or don't put your hands up. Just write in the comments. Yes, yes, yes. Marnie's raised her hand. Okay, just write here that, you, that you're using it. Let me check. Yes, yes, yes. So you check. All the guys are saying yes. They're using my strategy. These are all clients. The strategy is ridiculous. Okay, you've got to learn it because it's going to help you. It's going to help you exponentially grow your account. I don't know why it's, uh, why it's done that. We'll just need to reconnect the 8 exponential moving average to the chart. Let me just move this. Click on OK. It takes a few seconds to populate. There we go. Okay, so there's it. AUD USD. Let's check what's happening with AUD USD. Second candle below, but it's so close to the 200 moving average. It's a good trade. You can trade it. And then you get out here, put a take profit over there, okay? Get out of the trade. What's, what is the, what is that? Um, we can check it here. Let's check. We're going to do the crosshairs and we'll do second candle to the, uh, to the red line is there. It's 197 pips. It's a massive trade. Take it. Take the profits. We know that the strategy works. If it reverses and it goes north, you'll hedge. Simple. I hope you're loving this. Uh, okay, and then I opened another one just for my majors. Okay, I opened another little chart here just for my majors so that I can see like what's going on. It takes a little bit of time to populate uh, for it to read the charts and to find out so the algorithm of the EA is actually working. You want to know the best part about this? This is ridiculous. Let me set this up for you. So that you can uh, check this out. I'll bring my phone up at the same time. Okay, check this out, guys. Okay, options. Okay. Uh, notifications. Enable. And I'm going to quickly test it. I'm going to place a test. And then I'm going to quickly swap to my phone. I'll go over here. And I'll go to chats. And there it is. Test message from rule number one. This, okay, is life changing. You don't even need to set your phone anymore or your phone for a timer. The robot will now tell you when the time to trade is. Okay, this indicator. It'll tell you exactly when you need to place a trade. This is life changing. Okay, I hope that you can see the value. Do you have any questions? So let me go back here. How do we get this program? It's the next trick. Uh, so I've sent you the link, I think. No, not that one. Uh, let's go back here. There it is. Don't buy it yet because I've got a special coming. Don't buy it yet. Okay, I've got something exciting that I'm going to share with you. Stick around. Stick around. Cool. So now there's an opportunity for you to like go about your life. You don't have to be sitting in front of your computer. You can use the 8 exponential moving average okay, indicator to help you navigate the many charts so that you know when the right time to trade is, which is fantastic. So I told you that I was going to share with you uh, my, uh, my mentorship course. And this is what you're going to get on the mentorship course. Okay. Firstly, I've got a I've got a Telegram group where I am live, and I'm you. I'm not trading live with you anymore, but I'm very active on that group, answering questions. Not only am I there, but there I have institutional traders that trade with us, and they give you their opinion. This group alone okay is worth 900 dollars just having access to an institutional trader is worth 900 dollars a month okay you get access to my training website which is worth 997 dollars you get to learn how to trade with me without using a stop loss without using a take profit you're going to discover how to make 200 to 400 trip pips profit on the training website or my hedging videos and exactly what we've discussed tonight so that you can go and recap and you can go continue watching this video. And I add new stuff to the website all the time. But 
okay? Uh, and then you get to use the ATMA, okay? So the ATMA indicator is worth $297 per month. That is what that indicator is worth. You get access to the Telegram group, consistent guidance and support from me, okay, on how to scale uh, your trading profits to the next level. It's the Telegram cha uh, channel. I believe it's worth $997, okay? There's lots of signals groups out there which give you signals, but they're not trading with you. There are no institutional traders on there. It's a mess, okay? The total value of this is is $1,791, and you can pay $27 per month. But what you're getting is, for the $27, is you're getting a VPS, like what I've shown you, you're getting the 8 exponential moving average. And you know what? I'm going to throw in something special for you tonight. I'm going to throw in something special for you tonight. Okay, it's only tonight. I don't even think I've got it uh, on, this, um, uh, on, this, on this VPN. But my other guys can tell you that I have another little tool that is, that is going to help you Get out of your hedge. If you've messed up your hedge, okay, and you don't know how to manage your hedge, I have a, I have a, a manual trade hedge removal tool. Have you guys seen it? Have you used it? Who's used that tool? Put your hands up, please, or rather type in the box that you've used it. Some people have, some people haven't. I'm not sure if there's anybody on you. Seen it, not used it. So you've seen it, not yet. So a lot of the guys don't need to use it because they know how to trade. They know the strategy. Okay, but I have this other tool and I will throw it in tonight for free. So what you get is for the, for the $27 per month is you get a VPN. You get access to my training website. You get access to the Telegram group. You get access to the 8 exponential moving average. All of that for a monthly fee of $27, okay? It is, it is for free. So I'm going to put in here, you guys excited about what you've seen? What have you never heard of, Sean? Okay, there is the link to go and purchase this program. You will get access to me. You get access to the institutional traders. There is nothing worse than trading and being alone. Okay? There is nothing worse than that. It is a very lonely world. Trading is a very lonely world. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I see that I've missed out a few slides for some reason. Okay. So I've got another group here that I want to share with you. This is a mindset group. This, this offer is valid for tonight only. Okay, it's valid for tonight only. Best you go and purchase the, the package because this is not going to come again. Okay, uh, normally I'm, I charge uh, $147 for, the, um, uh, for access to everything. The 8 exponential moving average, the VPS, access to the Telegram group. Where's the link? The link is above. Just go check it out. Here it is again. Go and purchase. Go and purchase. You want to be part of the success group. Because we teach you mindset. We teach you trading psychology. You know. it's People say that you need to trade without emotion. It's impossible. You're not a robot. You are emotional human beings. Correct? Your emotions are going to trade with different lot sizes. And your emotion is going to trade when you have higher risk. This is why I tell you to trade on a live account. Very, very important to trade on a live account because you are getting emotional about the trade. You are experiencing the trade. You're not just trading and placing a trade. You can feel it in your stomach. You can feel it in your heart. Now, the question was, what is the correct lot size to use? Well, when you place the trade and your stomach lands up in your mouth, okay, and your heart lands up in your stomach, 
you know you've used the incorrect lot size. This is why trading with a journal is so important. So that you can write down not only why you placed the trade, what the circumstances were, but you need to be writing down how you felt. You know, I don't know if you know this, but there's a thing called quantum physics out there. Go and watch, go and check out Dr. Quantum on YouTube. Go and go and go, go, go to YouTube and go get the video called Dr. Quantum Quantum Physics Basics. Okay, and go and watch this. It is not science fiction. It is science fact. That you can also influence the way your trading goes. You can influence the price. Just by thinking about it. What you think about, you bring about. Some people call it praying. Some people call it meditation. Okay. We call it uh, manifestation. It's we manifest the stuff out of thin air. We manifest profits out of thin air because we can you just need to believe it you need to have that the belief system in your heart and if you don't have the belief system that's why you need to be on the success telegram group because success starts in the mind and in the heart okay very very important i hope that you join that seven laws of attraction 100 percent and making profit please say yes or no, I want honest feedback. I like transparency. I like to, Stefan Nell, you're not trading with me or you're not making profit. Okay? Say, no, I'm not trading with you. Or yes, I am trading with you. I am making profit. So if you're making profit and you're trading with my strategy, say yes. Not with me, but you're profitable. Okay. From day one, making profit. Yes, when stick to the rules. Yes and yes, profits. Alan sent you private, private mail. Nick, okay, cool. I want to hear more testimonials. Come now. If you're using my strategy and you're making profits, say yes. If you're making more than 100 pips profit per trade, place there what kind of profit you're making. 100 pips, 200 pips, 50 pips. Show everybody. Okay, you can see these are clients of mine that are using my strategy, that are winning at this. Okay, the strategy works when you work it. So listen, guys, if not this, then what? If not now, then when? And if not with me, then with who? Okay, you've got clients here that are using my strategy, that are on my training, that are on the Telegram group. These are people that you can talk to on the Telegram group. There's the mastermind. You can ask questions. Okay, no question is a stupid question. The only question that's a stupid question is the one you didn't ask. Okay? Made many mistakes, Carl, because you knew you can expect to make mistakes. This is a journey, my friend. Okay? This is a journey. This is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is a get-rich... Uh, system this is get rich for sure with a system and a strategy and a mentor and i care i care i love it i love what i do i'm passionate about what i do i want to change a million lives in south africa if we don't do it no one else will it's our job to do it we have a responsibility to change south africa the government isn't going to do it the corporations aren't going to do it the more money you make the more lives you can change. You can either employ people or you can give charity and you can tithe. Okay? It's like, what will you do with the money when you make it? Okay? Thanks, Carl. Appreciate your uh, kind words there. It's right. So we have a hand up. Khalid, you can uh, unmute yourself and um, you can ask your question. Yes. Hi, Alan. How's it, buddy? How are you? Uh, I'm good, sir. How are you? Uh, well, thank thank you. you for your uh, uh, very generous offer Pleasure. and everything you are offering. Pleasure. And uh, I, w I was wondering uh, what you, what what's your take on like proprietary trading firms like FTMO? You can other... you will win big time with FTMO. Okay, I think it's a fantastic strategy where uh, they give you. 
50,000 or 200,000 and the split is, I think it is 80-20. So you get 80% of the profits and they get 20. I, I mean, uh, would they let you trade with your hedge strategy? I don't know. You need to ask them. A lot of them won't. Uh, yeah, because uh, they have like rules, uh, your drawdown. Correct. Must your drawdown be must be than... less than 10%. Uh, yes. You have to make 10% per week. Um, and you can't be in any trades after the week. You have to have be out of all your trades within a week. Yes. So, oh, okay. so there's, uh, there's rules. You need to read those rules carefully. Okay. Uh, t thank you. I'm, uh, uh, I'm definitely going to uh, join your offer. Cool. Uh, Look forward to working thanks. with you, Khalid. Thank you, sir. Okay, great. So has anybody got any other questions uh, while we trade live? So let's check. We did place a trade. What did we place? We placed it on gold. It's going a little bit south, but that's fine. So it's expected because we're right at the bottom of a trend. And um, we're right at the bottom and we're on 1907. It's close to 1900. So we'll see. If it's wrong, I'll hedge. Doesn't make a difference. You see, that's what trading with confidence means. Okay, where you understand you've got a strategy and then you can say, okay, well, if it goes south, it doesn't matter. I'll just place a hedge trade and go north. When it goes south again, I'll make enough profit to be able to, if I want to, close that trade out in a loss because I've already made the profit. Or I can wait for it to go south and reach uh, break even and I'll close it at break even. There's so many different strategies that you can use to get your results and make money. If you follow this strategy, you will make money. Pretty much guaranteed that you will make money. Okay, so uh, stick to the rules, super course, continue, continuity if you are no longer here. Continuity if you're no longer, so you're wanting a, a succession plan. So I have employed someone. Uh, his name is Intercourse or Interbele. He's been in the Forex game for also about eight years seriously uh, he's worked for different brokers for the last four years and he's now joined me and uh, he if there is a if there is uh, an opportunity if I do get hit by a bus then uh, the business will be offered to the investors to purchase that's um, what I've arranged if nobody can purchase it within the clients then it'll be offered in the open market and if nobody wants to buy it, then it'll just shut down, unfortunately. Alan, do you trade indices like NAS and S30? So I don't. As I said to you, I like to stick to, um, I like to stick to, I'm a, I'm a one horse, I'm a one trick pony. I like to trade gold and uh, there's no reason to trade anything else. Um, I make these type of profits. Let's show you guys. Are you still on the call? These are my profits. There you go. 1,200% in 291 days. If you want to learn how to do that, I suggest strongly that you subscribe to my channel, okay, and to my course, and I will teach you how to do this. I will teach you the trick on how to do this. This is, if you're not impressed, then I don't know. Have a look, 1,200%. Have a look here. These are my monthlies. I was hedged here for two months. We were in a sideways market. This month alone, 45.5% profit. Do you like what you are seeing? Yes, Moni. I will indeed. Okay, do you guys have any questions? Do you have any questions? I'm here to help you. So I will continue with this trade uh, on the Telegram group. And I will show you exactly what we're doing on a daily basis. I don't like to trade live because I have a robot that trades for me. And I will share with you, uh, share that with you later on. Um, and I'm like, I've got that. I, I like to make passive income. That's why I'm called the passive income guru. My job is to help you to find passive income investments and use passive income. But go and sign up for the course now. 
Let me know when you've paid. Ping me when you've paid. You've got my phone numbers on the thank you page. And uh, we will help you get started. So the trade is in a little bit of a loss. It's very small. No concerns. No no problems. We've got more than enough margin. More than enough margin percentage. We've got good wallet management. It's not about making profit right off the bat, guys. It's about getting your trading psychology right and learning the strategy. Very important that you trade on 0.01. Okay, it doesn't matter that it's cents. It, what does matter is that you're learning the strategy, you're learning the system, you're learning how to do it. So there are four types of learnings, okay? Four types of learning. There is unconsciously incompetent. That is when you don't know that you don't know. Ignorance is bliss. I'll use the driving, getting your license as the analogy. Okay, you go, you want to start driving, you get a mentor, you hire a driving teacher, you get in the car, and the guy says, right, start the engine, and now you need to balance the car using your clutch and your accelerator. And you get in the car, and you see there's knobs and buttons and levers and steering wheels and pedals, and you're now like, this is a bit overwhelming, but you've got your mentor there, so you're feeling a little bit safe. So he says, right, now start the car and balance the car with your clutch and your accelerator and you stall your first time. Now you know that you don't know. So you're now you are consciously incompetent. You've now moved from unconsciously incompetent to consciously incompetent. You now know that you don't know. Okay? Great place to be because now you can start learning. Takes you about 20 minutes, sometimes longer, and now you've got the car balanced, okay? And now you are consciously, okay, or unconsciously, consciously competent. You are now acknowledging everything that you do. So you start driving, and he says, turn left, okay? You are conscious, you now know how to turn left, so you turn left, you use the indicator, you say, right, I need to put the indicator down, go down into second gear, Lift the clutch, put the accelerator down, turn the wheel, keep your hands at 10 to 2. You are consciously competent. You are conscious of every step that you are doing. Every single step that you are doing, you are you, you, you going through in your mind. It's a step-by-step -step process. Consciously competent. Then you go for your driving license and you pass. Three or four months later, you're driving to work. You arrive at work and you say, I don't even know how I got you. That's called unconsciously competent, where you do things automatically. You don't even know that you're doing them. It's like your heart beating. Your heart just beats. You don't control it. It's subconscious. Okay. When you pick up a pen and you start writing and you're looking at the person and you're writing and your hand's moving, okay, some people can type without looking at the keyboard. That's called conscious, unconsciously competent. It just flows. It just happens. And the analogy that I'm trying to create for you is to show you that initially you're going to be bad at this. It's not going to just be automatic profits. You must know that. You're going to make losses, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to enter the trade at the wrong time, but that's what the group is for. The Telegram group is there so that you can get confidence, you can ask questions if the trade goes south and you lost money, you can ask questions, you can say, why did I lose money here? And you will get answers not only from me, but you get answers from the other traders that are experienced. Okay, it's a fabulous group. Where is it? Fabulous group. Okay, fabulous. Got lots of people commenting, asking questions, giving their opinion, trying to, you know, trying to navigate this. The group is active all day. I'm commenting. You can see uh, I'm commenting all the time, giving you guys advice. Okay, I'm available. I'm teaching. I'm helping. So I highly recommend that you join. And you can only join once you've done the pre-training uh, homework and once you paid for the uh for the course so go and pay for the course now and um hopefully this trade will go 
green and uh, we can start making money on it. So if there, is there anything else you guys want to ask me before we sign off and we'll continue trading on the Telegram group? Any questions? Any concerns? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you learn anything? Jaslyn, you can uh, unmute yourself. Hi, Alan. Yes, yes I enjoyed. I enjoyed it and learned Wonderful. a lot. Thank you. Okay, perfect. It's the second time I've been on the training. Wonderful. And and I also would, I am part of the course as well, so I learned a lot more compared to before. Pleasure. So, if you purchased a have you purchased a robot, Jaslyn? No, I didn't. I I think the the whole thing, what I wanted to do, Alan, was to uh, maybe work a month on this, learn the Forex chart. Uh, just to Personally, get to I think you. you should do both. I think you should make some passive income. And while you're making passive income, you should be trading. Yeah, Manually. so I think I'm going to actually okay, you'll, purchase the robot. You'll ping me later and um, I'll send you the link for that already. Okay, thank you. Cool. Lekker. Um, yes, please send a link for the telegram, please. I want to share a complete program for late Bob Proctor PDFs and audio books. Okay, I learned a lot. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. So, Stefan Nell, um, I will send you the success starts here group. Um, yes, Aldrin, you do. You would still need to subscribe to the ATMA, it's a paid for program. Yes, you will have a recording of it. Um, so if you're trading with a robot, I would trade with a robot with one account. If you're trading manually, I would trade manually on another account. I trade uh, EJ, GJ and gold, um, but mainly gold. I'll send you the emails by uh, phone, uh, by email. You need to watch that video. Um on uh, Bill Williams Fractals, it's very difficult to understand it. Uh, I had to watch it about 10 times. All right, here's a high level, here's a high level trading for you. So the second candle opens above the eight exponential moving average, right? So you've already got a trade in. So I'm trying to find, okay, so yeah, so we've got a trade in and we're going south, right? Okay, so here's a candle. Uh, first candle opens below the 8 exponential moving average. Uh, here it is. First candle, second candle opens below the 8 exponential moving average. Price goes up, comes down, and we're still south. Okay? So you opened your trade over here. Cole, unmute yourself. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, cool. So your second candle opens below the 8 exponential moving average, right? The, the wick. You can place another short. So Bill says that you can carry on placing placing trades, okay, same lot sizes on all the fractals. So you place a trade here, you place a trade there, now you've got four, five shorts. The problem is, is that we're working on leveraged accounts, okay. So when the second candle opens, so let's say it goes big candle north here, and you've got four trades open, you're over leveraged. So if you're going to use the Bill Williams fractal strategy, you need to use 0.01 lot sizes. Small lot sizes, much smaller than you would. So if your normal lot size that you would use is a 1, I would, and now you want to use the Bill Williams fractal um, training uh, strategy, then I would use only uh, like a 0.1. A 0.1 lot size so that you can do maybe 3 or 4 trades on the different fractal points. Do you get it? So you don't look at fractals, previous five fractals. You look at the, the, the newest fractal before the candle that you want to trade. So you're not looking at this candle. If you're here and there's a fractal, you're watching this fractal. You're not watching this fractal or this fractal or this fractal. Yes, mate. Thanks a lot, eh? Okay, cool. I, I no appreciate problem. it. I understand. Okay, Thank cool. you, mate. Okay. Thanks so, a lot. Say so the second candle has started. Can you still jump into this trade? Maybe on trading view, it shows 
that the second candle is already in on 30 minutes. Sure, when the second candle opens below the eight exponential. Okay, yeah, Can you please mute yourself? Okay, so when the second candle opens above or below the eight exponential moving average, you place a trade. As long as you're trading in the direction of the trend on the higher time frame. Do not trade against the trend. Very important. Please share this webinar so that we can go through it again. We'll do. Is the robot updated remotely? Does it have lifetime subscription? It is uh, month to month. Uh, you will pay month to month. If you don't pay, you don't have access to the robot. Is included with the robot no it is not it is separate you pay for it separately it's a separate subscription so i've answered all the questions anybody else got any questions anybody want to discuss anything all right guys yeah, sir. yeah. I, I wanted to ask where did you place your stop loss i don't use a stop loss you are not using stop loss no okay so if you're wanting to go to sleep and you've got an open trade, there is what is called a buy stop or a sell stop. That is what you would use as your hedge strategy. So when you're looking at your MT4 platform, so let's say we've got a sell in here, okay? Um, so where is, uh, like, there's not, I, I can't even, like, place a buy stop. So when you go to this section over here, over there where it says market execution, you can drop this down and you can say buy stop or buy limit. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know what the difference is between the two? Yeah, I know the difference. Okay, so let's help other people that don't know. Yeah, you've got the buy stop and you've got the sell stop. So when the price goes through your price then the buy will hedge so in my case if you look at the chart okay i could place a buy stop over here so that if there's a spike in the middle of the night and the price goes up okay I can place a buy stop here so that when the price is pierced my hedge trade opens my buy trade opens and i'm hedged there's nothing more to think about or worry about. Yeah, we're finally in profit. Look at that. So the tra strategy is working. Okay. Um, and that's how it'll, it, it'll work. Very simple. So I don't use a stop loss. I don't use a take profit. Those are not strategies that the banks and the institutions use. It's not the correct way to trade, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. My humble opinion. Of eight years of trading with high success rate. So there we've got making a little bit of profit. It's up and down. We're probably on a support line. I think this trade is going to go south uh, because we're at the bottom of the trade, uh, at the trend. So I'm actually going to just close it out in profit because we are at the bottom of a trend. So when it, I'm going to set it to take profit at break even. So that I don't have to worry about this trade. There we go. Okay, so I've closed the trade because we're at the bottom of the trend. It was just done for an example for you guys. That's all it was done for. Okay. Guys, got any questions or can we close off? Cool. Well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to mentoring you. The next webinar will be next week on Thursday. And um, I'm looking forward to, um, to helping you. Okay, To be able to sign up for my course, you need a PayPal account. You can't just sign up. You need to have a PayPal account. I don't accept EFTs. I only work with PayPal because my company is in the socials. Let me just copy this info again. Oh. Cool. You need to register for PayPal, get a PayPal account, then you'll be able to utilize it. But I'll send you an email with everything. Guys, thanks very much. I really appreciate your time that you gave me this evening. Happy trading. I'll see you on my uh, Telegram group and I'm looking forward to mentoring you. Take care. God bless. Be well. I'll see you soon.